We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for The Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. I mean, if twerking could get you on Oprah, <laughs> then it's a good thing. Miley Cyrus isn't going to be on Oprah inside this Ryan Report. As seen on v-13.com, brought to you by McDonald's for a limited time. Get two savory sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddles for only $3 at participating McDonald's. I'm loving it. Molly's not, but Robin is. Mm. Oprah's next chapter on OWN. Here's a little excerpt. Of course, Oprah, who really has no clue about the whole twerking thing. No. <laughs> Listen to this clip. This is funny to me. It's you silly. You didn't think of it as sexual? Well, I was on stage. I didn't see it, uh-huh. you know? So to me, I'm walking out towards Miley. I don't, I'm not thinking sex. I'm uh-huh. thinking fun, Yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, her and I don't have but that But she's twerking of... up against your... Uh, I know, but you have to remember, I'm kahunas. singing. I'm singing my butt off. So I'm yeah. sitting there. I'm looking up at the sky, and I'm singing. I'm not really paying attention to all that. That's on her. I'm like, people ask me, you know, do you twerk? I go, listen, I'm the twerk E. I'm twerked upon. <laughs> You know what? And there you have it. I'm I mean, twerked upon. Yeah. Oh, he didn't feel it at all. I think that was a very good question that Oprah asked him. Um, but, you know, she was on your, you know, and he's she all. Was but I was, on but I was yeah. singing. I didn't even realize it. She was twerking on you. Okay. So you can watch Own and Oprah's next chapter with Robin Thicke, which is a good thing. Yeah. Because there's no way and you know what that Robin Thicke would have made it on Oprah. If this hadn't happened, you're right. And also the, the, the success of the excuse me, the success of the song "Blurred Lines." I know <laughs> to try to say it so fast. Leave me alone, Ryan. <laughs> I'm not working your mouth. That's the whole you know. Look, 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 look. You got some twerk in your mouth. <laughs> she mouth. She mouth. The success of "Blurred Lines." Mouth. <laughs> that one was. I gotta get that one. Craig too. Robinson. <laughs> Who we know from the office and all the movies mm-hmm. yeah. had a show at the Atlantis in the Bahamas. Yeah. Okay. Everybody knows you can bring all kinds of stuff into different countries. If you can get it in, you get it in. Mm-hmm. It's getting out is when you're gonna have a problem. Right. Craig Wednesday night tries to leave and get on a plane with half a gram of weed and 18 ecstasy pills. Ooh. Ooh. Come on now. Arrested a thousand dollars that he had to pay in a fine. But here's the thing. Craig says he did not know that drugs were illegal in the Bahamas. <laughs> but, well, he stopped. Was, but he was leaving the Bahamas to yeah. come back to the United States. So whatever he was going to take when he went to that comedy show, it was going to take 18 ecstasy pills to get somebody <laughs> well, he's a big in man. the hot tub time <laughs> machine. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the movies he's most known for. Yep. But that was a good lie. Like, you don't want to say you know it's illegal, so you got to say, I didn't. I thought it was legal here. Yeah, you got to play try, dumb. You know, you got to play dumb. Yeah. Well, Deion Sanders is not playing dumb. He's our last round report story. He says, I did not choke or slam a school worker. Uh, cops investigating in Dallas about allegations made by Kevin Jefferson, who is the CFO of Prime Prep Academy. He said that they had a meeting and the students weren't doing well, and Prime went off. Prime says, I didn't do any of that. He's talking to a local radio station. No, I didn't assault it. I mean, we had altercation, but it wasn't no assault. You could come at me. They came to me for the last two years, right? I overcome it. But see, when you start messing with kids, you ain't just dealing with me. You're dealing with kids' future in their education. I ain't got time for that. We, we can play football, baseball, basketball games. We can play hopscotch, baby. We can even have a good time like we do on the radio. Mm-hmm. But you can't play with kids' education. I don't play those kind of games. But one thing you can add to this, Peter, you just on five prep campus. Ask any teacher... Mm-hmm. Ask any kid or any parent what Prime is all about. What am I about? And they'll tell you straight up. What about them kids? Prime says the guy is looking for a payday. I did nothing to that gentleman that warranted an assault. The guy says that uh, Prime got upset and a little emotional and then grabbed me by my throat and kind of threw me to the ground. Which kind of sounds like how Dion used to tackle back in the day. <laughs> A little yeah, choke. You just kind of grab you yeah. and threw you down. A little choke slam. So we will find out what yeah, happens with that, all right? That is your Rye Report right here on the People Station. It's B103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know. Come, you know. Come, come. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report. B103.